to Arches National Park at 10 o'clock this morning and there was a sign that said park is full turn around don't even try basically <laughs> we came we came to the gate you know the where you pay your entrance and there was nobody there and there was blockades and you had to turn around and leave they were not letting anybody in the park and it said to come back in three to five hours so we are four hours later and we are in a line. How long have we been in line right now? Not very long, five, 10 minutes. Five, 10 minutes right now. And we probably have another five, 10 minutes to go. Yeah, <laughs> so that's just a little FYI for you guys that I don't know if the park is so small that it just can't handle so many people or they're limiting the amount of people in because of still of COVID. I'm not really sure at this point right now because we haven't even got into the park yet. But I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys wanted to come here that you might have to come really early. So our plan right now, since it's 20 after two, is to go to the visitor center, get our map, get things, talk to people or whatever, find out what we wanna do, and then come early tomorrow morning, like at the break of dawn, and do our stuff before it gets hot too and be so we can get into the park. My eyeballs are saying you're up too early. I gotta pass this van because it's just one more person we won't have to be behind in line. <laughs> you don't know they're going to the park. <laughs> oh, I know they're going to the park. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to the park. No, they just came off our boondocking road. No, oh, it's a long drive day for them. Yesterday when we went to the, into the park to the visitor center, we talked to a ranger and we asked them when a good time was to come and he said that by 9.30 that's when they shut it down because it's way too full. You can't, you can't get in past 9.30 basically. So he said to come as early as you can or in the afternoon basically. So Jeff got me up at the crack of dawn this morning. But we're up a little earlier than what we normally are. <laughs> My eyes are going, um, why are we awake right now? But we are headed to the park. It is, we left the trailer at 6.43. My goal was 6.45, so. Which really isn't that early. It's not that early, but it's early for us. It's kind of early for us. <laughs> My goal here is not to let anybody pass me on this road because I know where they're going. <laughs> you don't know where don't... they're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who else is on this road going somewhere important? Well, they they're going could to be the going park. to work. They could be traveling. They Tra could yeah, be, traveling they could to the park. Could be a semi hauling goods. Mm. Not everybody's going to the park. I'm just gonna run down the center line here. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's a dork. This guy's coming on us. Uh oh, we gotta speed up. <laughs> See? He's got the same idea that you have. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna be a long day for Nima today. We're in. We're in like Flynn with about a zillion other people already. Our first stop is Delicate Arch. We're at the uh, trailhead for the Delicate Arches. We're in the parking lot, 720, and they just closed off the parking lot because it's full. And it's a pretty good sized parking lot. We figured we'd be up here and beat some of the crowd and get a parking spot. Not the case. So, but luckily we're the last ones they just let in uh, and we're on our second loop. So now there's no pressure from behind us to keep going. We can just sit here and wait for somebody to come out. So uh, anyway, just to help you plan your day, get here early, earlier than we did. <laughs> Obviously. We thought we were getting here early, but they're just 
there so many people are just trying to pile in too it's it's crazy but this is supposedly the number one attraction at Arches National Park so that's why I wanted to do it first and get it out of the way and then go to the other ones so I don't have any advice for you I don't I don't know what to do uh, earlier I so I, I would say that you would probably want to be an hour earlier than we are. I, yeah, now. I guess. So yeah. I would say you'd probably want to get here about 6.30. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see, but we got to climb this rock. found a parking spot as you can see and we made it to delicate arch it's a mile and a half in so it's three miles round trip and it's you're walking on a rock mountain basically yeah mostly you're, sandstone yeah. yeah so you're climbing up the rock to come over the mountain so just it's not wheelchair obviously and it's probably what did i say 480 almost 500 feet, feet elevation yeah there, so. so just a little fyi it's a little they have it in the difficult section because there's no shade whatsoever and you are climbing um up so i think that's why they have it in the difficult section but other than that it's not really that difficult yeah not too bad yeah i also wanted to tell you guys if you guys didn't want to do the three mile hike that there are two viewpoints there's an upper and a lower that you can drive to so you can still see the arch and you don't have to hike call it a loop because you have to go through the campground but you can make a loop out of it and there's three arches on on this trail there's the sand dune arch the broken arch and the tapestry arch which we are at right now um, it's very beautiful I think actually out of the arches I've seen so far today um, and I, we've been to all the major ones I do believe ish well we got to go do windows we're gonna do windows next okay there's and windows the major one. left but this tapestry one actually I think is I like it the best yeah. it looks like a big old circle it yeah, should be called a circle. circle archer oh arch or something and then, uh, <laughs> there's just places to kind of sit down and relax mm -hmm. and just a beautiful view yeah so I mean th there was views at the other ones um, that were nice but I think this is the best view I think yeah, and it's a really windy day, so I apologize if the audio is kind of muffled, but it's really windy today. It's pretty windy, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hang on. Hold on. That's a big one. It's a big one. And it's over. <laughs> but it's gorgeous, once again. Um, where did we see? Oh, Joshua Tree is where we saw the other arch, but these are... Yeah way bigger than that arch, than the Joshua Tree arch. So we are now on the Windows Trail. The windows are north and south, and there is a turret arch and a double arch on this trail. What do you think about the windows? Oh, they're pretty cool because there's so many of them in one spot. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of arches here. Now, if you just see one that you don't like, just keep spinning in a circle and probably <laughs> find one that you like. You will definitely find something that you like, probably. 
Heidi ho, that's just another adventure from Just One Adventure. <laughs> we are done with Arches National Park. Yeah, and it's a beautiful park and uh, well worth the travel to get here. Yep. Yeah. I would so Canyonlands is here too. We didn't we don't have time to do that, so obviously we're gonna have to come back to the Moab area. And there's lots to do. You can, you know, raft and take river trips and all kinds of stuff in Moab. So, but make sure that you stop here at Arches National Park. Please do us a favor and smash the like button. Yep, smash, smash, smash. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, comment if you want to. I love comments. Nima answers them. Yeah. I read them. <laughs> he reads them, I answer them. I answer all of them, so don't forget. And I guess that's it. We'll see you next week. Till next time. Bye. Bye.